It's because there's just a little bit of anger there still, probably. And so you're angry at him? A little bit, not not a lot, but. <laughs> a little bit is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, Jesse. <laughs> Oh, God. A little bit of anger is a lot of anger, buddy. And why are you angry at him? Thomas, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Hello, Mr. Peterson. Hey, Thomas. Amazing name, you... by the way. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm a third. Nice. And, uh, me, my father, and my grandfather all served in the Army. Right on, man. Uh, I just had a question for you about something that's going on right now. Okay. So I have uh, two brothers on my mom's side, uh, and one of them uh, used to be an alcoholic, and the other one's uh, homosexual. And my uh, the one who used to be an alcoholic is now getting married in Washington, D.C. And he's, gonna, he's offering to pay for my flight out there and a night at a hotel. <clears throat> he's going to pay for me to fly down there if I want to go, and he chose his gay brother as the best man at the wedding, and he's hardcore Christian, you know. So this is a friend of yours, you say? No, my brother. Oh, your brother chose your brother? Yeah. Oh, okay. He chose he chose the gay brother to be his best man at his uh, Christian wedding. Okay. Um, I'm just wondering, I mean, I kind of feel like I should go, but I don't, you know, I'm not sure because I'm like, you know, why would you have a, a homosexual as your best man at a wedding if you're christian why is and your question for me is what i mean do you think there's anything wrong with that or why does that why is that even a thought for you uh probably partially because the gay brother that's going to be the best man uh treated me uh poorly in the past and <laughs> it was right around the time i you know forgave my mother and all that right. and i was coming out of the darkness and then you know the attack started coming and he's the closest to my mom of anybody. And they so, talk, you know, almost every day. Did the gay brother does? Yeah. And so do you hold something against him? You resent him? No, but I feel like he still resents me and, you know. And what does that have to do with you then if he resents you? You're going to your brother's wedding. And if your gay brother going to be there, your gay brother resent you, but you don't resent him. Why you bother either way? Okay. I mean, that makes sense. And that was kind no, of my thought behind that was, it. That was a question. Oh, why would I think any way of it? Yeah, why you bother, period. Because you're going to your brother's wedding. Your brother has a right to have whomever you want in his wedding. And, right. and you know, your gay brother, that's his situation. He might be mad at you, but you're not, you don't care what he think. Why you even bother, period? Why is that a question? Probably just because, you know, I, my brother who's having the wedding, you know, just claims to be real Christian, and I just don't understand. It just kind of confused me why he thinks Why do you need to understand it? I guess I don't. Hold on. Can you hold on, Thomas? Yeah. Hold on, buddy. And his brother used to be an alcoholic, and now they have a gay brother, and a gay brother got to be the best man, and Thomas want to know, should he go? How come is your, Thomas, your gay brother, is he mad at you? Why is he angry at you? Uh, I'm maybe because my parents. He felt like my parents were more forgiving towards me. They felt like I got away with more. But and, and, and that, did he say he was angry at you? Uh, no, but he basically expressed to my parents that he thought I was like a threat to them. But he never said it to you. Uh, it's been so long ago, I don't remember if he said it directly to me. Okay, how do you feel about him? Uh, just, uh, some compassion and just, uh, just a little bit of frustration, because he's my brother and I love him, but, you know, I just, after we got in that fight, he was he was real resentful and doesn't want to really forgive. And, you and said, I know I can't force that. You say a little bit of frustration, what are you frustrated about? Oh, just, you know, our family, you know, we're pretty broken. Uh, nobody, you know, and he talks to my mom all the time and basically throws stones. He never visits. He lives, you know, we live in Oklahoma. He lives in Florida. You know, he makes plenty of money. 
last time he came for Christmas, you know, he got like everybody a gift except for me and like bragged about how much money he was making. And uh, so I just don't get why, you know, he's acting so petty about stuff. You don't get why. Do you understand yourself? Yeah. If you understand yourself, why don't you understand him? Well, I guess I kind of do, but it's just, you know, he says one thing and does another because, you know, he's Christian. He says he's Christian and got the love of God. But but why does that bother you, period? I don't, uh, I mean, just because there's just a little bit of anger there still, probably. So you're angry at him? A little bit, not not a lot, but... (laughs) A little bit is a lot. <laughs> Dang it, Jesse. <laughs> oh, God. A little bit of anger is a lot of anger, buddy. And why are you angry at him? Just for the stuff he said about me and uh, how he's treated me. And so why does that bother you, period? Because he's my brother. And? That's it. <laughs> I would recommend if you should go to the wedding and he is there that the two of you try to have a private conversation and you apologize for resenting him because whatever he is and whatever he's doing, he can't help it. He's been driven by something else, just like you have been driven to be angry at him. That's not you. That's the spirit of evil. And you're judging your brother saying that he is a Christian. He would have a gay brother who he invite, but you're no different because you're judging them. Right. Yeah, that's what I figured you'd say. <laughs> and why did you figure I would say that? Uh, just because, I don't know, it usually always leads back to that, you know, anger, resentment. And, uh, yeah. you know, I really don't. It's hard to confront yourself on that because you don't want to admit that you have it. Absolutely. And that's the problem. When you're pointing one finger at someone else, all of those fingers need to be pointed at you. Because if you didn't have anger, you would have perfect peace. And no human being or nothing outside of you will be able to touch you. You wouldn't be bothered by it, period. Because you will understand. You will understand what's happening in you, and it will cause you to understand what's happening in others. And in that, there is no judgment. All right. So So I think I I got my plan then. Go to the wedding and forgive my brother. Yeah, pull him to the side and say, you know what? I have been resenting you, and I'm wrong. I'm sorry. And whatever your issues your brother have, those issues are on him because he came from the same parents you did. And those issues are with him, and they have nothing to do with you. Right. He can't blame you for the way he feel, feels, and you can't blame him for the way you feel. It's on you. Right. Go to that wedding and have fun, man. All right. Thank you, Jesse. I appreciate everything you do for young men today. And, and you're welcome, and you call yourself a Christian. You're judging the Christians. Right. Do you see that? Yep. Are you doing the silent prayer? Not enough. And, and why, why not? Uh, no excuses. Yeah, do the silent Just prayer. Laziness. I'm sorry? Laziness. Do the silent prayer so you can uh, walk in the light. You want to walk in the in the, in the, in the spirit of truth and love. But if you're not staying present, you're not in the spirit of truth. You're not in the spirit of love. You're walking in the flesh and not in the spirit. Okay. And you you forgave your mother. Yeah, and my father. How did that go? I mean, it was years ago, but she just started crying and, you know, apologized, said, you know, she did the best she could and stuff, and that she grew up in a yeah. rougher home. Absolutely. Well, stay with the side of prayer. It's not like that's the only issue you have right now. You're not staying present. Stay present, and the light, the nature, the love of God will work out all the issues for you. All right, Jesse. Let me know how the wedding go, all right? All right, I will. It's uh, December 30th, so it's going to be a while. Okay. And when you, if you get a chance to pull your brother to the side and apologize for resenting him, because 
is whatever issues he has has nothing to do with you, and you should wish him well, and you just work on your world and let everybody else live in their hell because most people love their hell. They don't want to overcome it. And you can't be mad about that or shouldn't be. Right. All right. All right, sir. All right. Do the prayer, man. All right. Thank you very much, Jesse. Have a great day. You too, buddy. And uh, all the staff. Right on. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Amazing.